and duck. Hello. Oh, the tomb colonists in Gator's Morn. Today we are a visit. We are to visit a pirate's nest. I look forward to the to the scars. I hope the captain will keep them safe from us. It's been a while since I killed pirates. Oh wow, keep them safe from us. Really. Let them out on their own. Tomb colonists are generally both dead and deadly. They have decades of dueling experience. They'll probably be fine. Send crew to watch them. They'll only drink too much red, ruin, and cut up someone un someone important. Then they'll get cut up in turn. And before you know it, they'll be picking the bits out of the sea. Yeah, I can't. Five crew. Yeah, I'd lose all five crew. No, I have to let them out on their own. Please come back. I lost the tomb colonist. Great. The tour continues a con to Khan's glory. Where do I get new tomb colonists? Like, seriously, that's why I haven't been dumping them. It's because I didn't want to lose anyone. Most of the tomb colonists stroll back on board a couple of hours later. The bandages are splotched with blood and beer. The, the tallest shrugs. They started it. Well, alright, I started it. But they should have known it was bad luck to drink with the dead. No, okay, so are they dead? I don't, I really don't know about these guys. Like, they seem to sleep in coffins, so I don't know. Okay, no, we're all fine, thank you. But Mr. Blank had so much fun, she's staying on as a wing fighter. I hope she doesn't kill anyone too sensitive. Huh. Continuing. Uh, I don't know what to do about that. Okay, the morn is, okay, so this is the place where it's like really high up. The morn is a stalagmite, fast as a crag, and its foot has no safe harbors. The corsairs... Citadel nestles halfway up. An intricate system of winches takes the strain, and your ship rises slowly from the sea. Her hull creaks in protest. Grizzled sailors groan, cling to stanchions. Higher, higher, now the undersea shimmers like glass below. Children clamoring in crevices cheer and wave alarmingly. The winch motor slows, and you, ha and you hang in a cradle next to a red-bowed pirate cutter. Okay, explore the morn with a surprising qu quantity of actual landscape on the morn. It's vertical, admittedly, but once you find the beast paths and urgent roads, you can traverse it as you would a rocky moor with an additional throat full of lurching terror. Something awaits you. Pay the loitering darker for his tra strategic information. Oh! Well, fi oh, okay, okay. For the Admiralty. Since your price has gone up, it's not safe here. You'll pay the difference, won't you? Yeah, that's fine. Wait, refuse to pay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're a rough cove. Come on. This is me living and me life. A shrug. I remember doing this once before, and the guy's like, yeah, you can't blame me for trying. I want to get home. Sick of this place. London, eh? How is the old monster? Wait, they'll see. Uh, here's your report. I'm off. Okay, the report is barely legible. Uh, perhaps that's part of the code. The Admiral T will know. Okay. Return to the Admiral T. Introduce Fleming, Flemingans to the Morn. So many nooks, so many crannies, so many villains. It seems only appropriate. Okay. Collect your ill-gotten gains. Have you been sending stolen ships to Kozel's forest? Wait, what? Another day, pirate's pleasure. Really? Huh. Okay. Over here, rumors of a pirate poet. I remember doing that before. A tough challenge. It is Morn swarms with pirates, smugglers, and captains of uncertain allegiance. Could learn a lot here, but you'll need to go carefully. I'll take this chance because I, I just want the poet report. I also like to explore the morn. But first, I hear about the pirate poet. Oh wait, some say she's a clay man who freed herself um, for, with the power of a, a verse possible. Others insist she's a the reason why this caught me off guard is because the one restless guy wants a clay man of some sort. She's the personal muse of the king with the hundred hearts. Unlikely. One claims she sells on a living ship made of the still screaming skulls of. Her victims, more sober voices, mutter that no, it's just an alkyous class vessel. Whatever the truth, few have fought her and survived to tell the tale. Only the bravest of captains risk the lonely parts of the sea where her flag is said to sail. Okay, so you might actually run into her. Great. Anyways, explore the morn. Okay. Hello, you look like the cook. You turn and there's a long, lank, brown man at your shoulder. Listen, he says, I have a story for you. I, something about the gray beard compels your attention. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Turn, turn the situation around. No, I have stories for you. Oh, I am totally doing this. I am totally doing this. 
fresh from the sea. He has experienced horror and wonder, but so have you, and your tale is so much the fresher. You wrestle with each other's histories, until at last he concedes. Here, he says, this is where it all began, with the astronomer and the ephemerides. He whispers in your ear, lost your terror, gained 50 fragments. Ah, okay, wasn't too worth it, but it's still funny. Okay, another afternoon. Wait, what? I think wait you time to leave port. You have this. Ah. Uh. Wait a second. A drinking den by the dark cradle cradles is a good place for your crew to find companionship and let off steam. But although Gators Morn is a free port, the coast sails prefer their own and look as uh, as askance at respectable Londoners. Ah. Uh. I'll try it, but first I want to try this. A dislike of spies. You and one of your okay. I I remember this. I lose a crew. Gain five terror, got the port report. I just wanted it for the first time. So I won't be doing that again, most likely. Okay, I'll try this. Gain one terror. Conversations quietens as your drinkers look around. You've been here too long and you're attracting the wrong kind of attention. Time to move on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It is time to move on. Oh, hey, I can sell the prisoner's honey. And I frankly don't want to deal with it. There was one... Th I can sell the hu red honey for 625. It cost me 600 Gs. Okay. Anything else here? Sunlit field. Meal catch box. Oh. I can sell it. Great. I can't buy it though. Okay. I want to buy it. Can I buy it for 300? I'd even buy it for 600, I think. Maybe. Okay, the fucking honey. Yeah, I'll sell that here. I There was that one place that was like a giant mushroom that I think might have wanted it. But... I'm not entirely sure if it was this honey or the red honey. I just remembered honey. And I frankly don't feel like dealing with it. So I'm going to sell it. Largely to fill up this place in my hold. Okay, anything else to deal with here? I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'm good. Uh, am I ready to go back to London? I'm honestly fine to keep going around. Where am I on the map? Yeah, I can go north. I might be able to see that divide. All of the stuff after I died where it was like I can have 25 more of each stat. I didn't understand any of them besides one of them seems to be seems to deal with the place that's due north that seems kind of scary. So it was the only one and it's only hint was that it was north but its name like collided with this name. I forget what the name was but it seemed really obvious that it was talking about there. Oh wait wait and where do the dead want to go next? Oh, is it? Tomb colonists. Tomb colonists. Oh, hey! The engine's no longer making weird noises. That's nice. I don't know why, but that's nice. Oh, Pigmo Owl. Wow, that's a lot of stuff for Pigmo Owl. Oh, Tomb colon colonists. The last tour. Khan's glory. Just what, just what precisely is the problem? Shh. Like, why do they want to go to all of the deadly places? Jeez. I don't, I've never been to Khan's Glory. I think it's in the Northeast because that's like the only place in the game which I have no idea what's around there at all. And I think I might have seen it whenever I was coming back from this area. Like, I think it was here-ish. But I'm not going to deal with it for now. I'll de but I do want to find out what's north. I'm just going to start using my sea bat again. Looks like I'm not going to make it back to London without 50 tower. So that's a bit of a shame. Oh, well, the nightmares aren't too bad anyway. I might end up cutting this episode in half somewhere. Make stuff easier. Anyways, what time is it anyway? Okay. I'm not going to say it because whatever time you're watching this probably won't matter. Am I not close to it? Oh, bright. It's a long way north. Huh, oh, okay, yeah, that is due north. Interesting. That's not where I was trying to head, but it'll work. Anything there? Nope, still increasing. Whatever. Yeah, like, I haven't found a name of a place that wasn't, like, Gators Morn or Abbey Rock and basically forever. Which is really weird. But this game likes to name a lot of things for no real good reason. Is that just how bad my meals are? Whatever, I'm headed straight towards a port of some sort. Oh, here it is. Seems to be a lighthouse to the west. Stoddard's Haven. Oh, okay, this is Frost... Okay, this is the Frost-bound place. 
That's cool. Hmm. So, the Avid Divide, is that what the place is? I'm trying to remember what it's called. This place will give me another fuel and supplies, so that's also nice. Ooh, and if I get there quick enough, they'll also feed my people. Nope. Not quite. Oh, whoa, I forgot. I need a hit dot. My bad. Okay, I, I've been here several times. Create a port report. Cool. That'll give me 30 go or 30 money. Have tea. One fuel. Oh, yeah, they make me lose 10 tails, so that's really nice. Gain one fuel and supply. I really appreciate it. And that's all. Can't do this. I'm no more than 20 tower. I would like to go up here at some point. I would have liked to have done it in a play my last playthrough where I wasn't dead. <laughs> before I was before I was dead. Because I could actually do it because I had 50 mirrors. Huh. Whatever. Guess I'm good to go. Anything according to my thing. Huh, is there really nothing in between here and there? There might be. What does this say? Bright is to the east? Oh! Huh. That's fine, I wanted to go under the bridge anyways. I can't go under this bridge, right? Alright. I think I can. You know what, I am going to slow down here. And see if I can push up against it. Um, arch. Cool, cool. Just making sure. This place has a lot of names, apparently. And apparently it calms my spirit to be here. Okay, not anymore. Okay, well, is a bite seems to be on the other side of this. Whatever it was called. Let's find the place. I don't think it's another port, but, like, it's here. So why not? I have the fuel for it. Although, I do think I want to stop leaving my light on all the time. My tail is doing pretty fine still, but... Can I see it? Yeah, okay, I finally saw it. And it's nothing. Anyways... Oh, now these things appear. Okay. Northwest. Wait, what? Really? <laughs> Want me to discover this whole thing? You know what? I th uh. No, no, that's not worth it. I was about to say I go up and do whatever this is about, and then I'd go there, but like I don't think it's anything worth it. Oh, Palmerton's Reach. Oh, wait, what the? No, no, no. Um. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, Mount Palmerston is to the east. What is it? Okay, I do want to go to Mount Palmerston because places keep mentioning it and I don't know what it is. Jeez. Yeah, I don't think that I would fail too well against that thing. You know what? I'm going, I'm going a long way around this thing. I'm going down and around. I also don't want to get near that thing. Anything could kill me pretty easily. Restless Knights. Huh. Can I just ignore this? Didn't cut me off. Like, I'd really like to ignore this. Huh. I'll just do here. Lost one tail. Oh, okay, well that's nice. Glad I didn't ignore it, I suppose. Okay. Almost in reach. I'm trying to remember what to do here. I know that the... Um, shady looking fellow wanted me to come here. That's the only thing which I really remember about the place. I remember that I've heard it mentioned several other times in the game. Okay. Oh, is it a volcano? Oh, a volcanic area? Huh. I guess it is a mount something, which volcanoes have that name. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a, a volcano. There it is, Mount Palmerston. And it looks like the port's on the other side. Of course it is. Hey, well, what else is near here according to this heat bat? Uh, as of appetite. Yeah, I think this will be my... Eh, like, I'll need to head back to London after this, and I'll be able to head to stop by there on the way. But actually, I'll even turn off my light. Like, I don't need to have it on. Actually, now that I look at it, my fuel is extremely low. Uh, I hope I can get more fuel at this point. I have a feeling this place isn't the nicest place. I don't know if it's the rogues wanting me to come here for illegal purposes or the giant volcano in the middle, but something about this place doesn't settle right with me. Okay, dark. Brimstone, always brimstone. Mount Palmerston, go up to the crater. They say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Heh. <laughs> okay. Explore the island. 
All right, soul and light glows green at the jetty's edge. Behind the port buildings, the island is knee-deep in ash. There are ruins here and there of houses destroyed by fire. Far above, the mountain's top flickers red just for an instant. Floor of the island. Nope, not the port report. Tangles of thorn scrub climb the rocky slopes of the of the like of the volcano. The merciless modesty. Ah oh, yes, you will do nicely. I need a ship, dear heart. I rather flatter myself that you need me. Ah. Huh. Oh, and I need five of these linens. Really? Ah. Huh. Really? I'd like to. But yeah. Chat to the poor folk about the Brimstone Convention. There was a revolution in hell, and the aristocratic classy of devils fled here. Here they plot in exile. Okay, report, report. Dig among the ruins. I need two supplies. Perhaps the villagers left valuables behind. You could pick out over the remains to see what you might find. You ghoul. Oh. Out of luck. Okay. Would cost me two supplies, which might be worth it, to be honest. Plus, I'm going to compile that port report. A shrug and a curse. They don't do us any harm. They stay up there, and we stay down here. If hell's fighting itself, that's good for us all, it, isn't it? Huh. Let's see. Interesting. I'll explore the island. Hello. A privateer encampment. This was an empty cliff top above the bleak waves. Now it blazes with colors, striped tents, colored flames, the music of paranoia, a paranola, and kettle drum. Mustachioed women and langu languous men play, ch play chess, carve bones, eat cats, and polish their terrifying brass weapons. These are Iron Republic privateers, pirates whose practices contrive whatever. The very laws of nature attack. They are numerous, but lost to wine and music. You will have the element of surprise, but it's very hard to know what exactly what those weapons will do. Uh, keep close and eavesdrop. The Republic is privy to gossip of hell. Creep close and you may learn impossible secrets. I like leave? No, no, I can't. I've never had a situation where I thought about that. I guess I have to attack. Jeez. A disorienting battle. Your first volley does satisfyingly grievous damage, but a half dozen privateers snatch up weapons. One is a sort of gatling gun. One appears to fire bubbles composed of rainbow meat. A third makes it rain in your heart. The fourth weapon explodes in a shower of fat purple sparks that chirp like canaries and chew their way through everything in the encampment. Privateers tend to loot. The battle is over before it's begun, but by the time it's safe to approach, the sparks have devoured many of the privateers' treasures. One tower? Only one tower? This sounds like I was, like, dead. Okay, seven fragments. 69 echo. That's oddly a specific number. I was fortunate. Jeez. Okay, that's all for now. Okay. Oh, and I had to choose between here or go up the mountain. Okay, matter of luck. You know what? I'll try this. A cellar full of bones. You, How many of them died down here? You could bury them in the ash, but they're so choked and jumbled, you might as well leave the them here below. The whole island is the unholiest imaginable ground anyway. At least you have souvenirs. Three grinning skulls and a um, carven cr crooked cross. Three m lamentable relics gain ten terror. One memory of distant shores. Eh, that's kind of... I know, these things are nice to have, I suppose. This is, this is all of us one day, but let's not be in a telling hurry about it. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, I'm not going to do that again. I don't have the for it. I can only buy supplies. I was hoping to buy fuel. Oh, sweet! Fuel is actually cheaper here than London. Huh. Then I definitely want to buy it here. I can buy the Oloak. Can't sell it. Oh, Devil Bone Dice is 19. Wow, that's all? Wow, okay. Buy the soup. How much did soup sell for? And the dice, actually. I don't... I think both of those sold for more back in London, but I don't really care. <laughs> to put it Lightly. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Wait, wait, and how much was this? Oh, and this is only marginally more than in London. Okay. You know what? This episode has run way too long, and this place sells supplies, like, 
almost equivalent to London. Like this costs two more and fuel is one less. So I think I'm going to stay here a while. Like, I'm going to keep exploring this area. And I can't have this episode last like another hour. So I guess I'll end it here and I hope you tune in for the next one. Peace.